everybody, it's time for another episode of Indie Game Zona. My name is Juho Kuorikoski, I'm a Finnish independent game developer and in this video series I review indie games. This week's game is called A Twisted Tale, which is actually the first episode of a full game. It takes heavy influences from those classic LucasArts titles, so it's a pretty easy sell for me. Let's go see what it's all about. If you're going to take influences, why not take them from the best? This is very evident in A Twisted Tale, which pays beautiful homage to the classic adventure games made by LucasArts, and it actually does a pretty fine job at it. The moment the game starts, I'm instantly reminded of the curse of Monkey Island, so the game is off to a good start. We are instantly greeted with a beautiful opening cutscene, which sets up the adventure. The main character, Bio, is sucked through a portal, and a few seconds later she appears in a forest, which connects to a larger floating village. The game doesn't bother setting up the backstory, but in my opinion, it doesn't have to. Instead, you're instantly solving puzzles and exploring the weird surroundings. Because the main sources of inspiration are those classic LucasArts titles, those familiar with these games will feel right at home. The objective is to reactivate the portal you arrive through, but as you probably can already guess, it's a lot easier said than done. At its current state, a twisted tale includes just the first episode. You can expect roughly a 2 hours of gameplay, but you can add in one extra hour if your puzzle solving skills are not top notch. The game has some very tricky puzzles which utilize quite nicely all the general traits of the genre. You talk to NPCs, combine inventory items and on a few occasions you also need reactions to perform certain actions within a limited time frame. Overall, the puzzle design is solid, but there are a couple of more outlandish puzzles which require the use of the good old try everything on everything approach. If you pit this against any LucasArts title, there's no question who's the winner. But when compared to the general quality of modern adventure games, I would say A Twisted Tale does provide a good and fair challenge in terms of the puzzles. The visual inspirations are derived from the already mentioned The Curse of Monkey Island. This LucasArts title is in my books one of the prettiest adventure games of all time. Unfortunately, A Twisted Tale doesn't rise to its level, but the game is very nice to look at. There are some weird choices in some of the animated cutscenes though. While the introductory cinematic is very well put together, some in-game cutscenes seems to be ripped up from a completely different game. These do break the immersion and I would have left them out completely. There are some technical issues as well. I have an ultra-wide monitor which is compatible with the game, but I couldn't get the screen recording working for the life of me with the game on full screen. Windowed, everything worked great, but the game could really use some settings for this one. The game runs only on 1280x720 resolution, which made the text borderline unreadable, at least for my old eyes. The game is completely dubbed in both English and German. While I genuinely admire the effort, I'm not a big fan of spoken dialogue in adventure games. There are subtitles, but it's very easy to click through the next dialogue line by accident. In more times than once, I had no idea what the characters were talking about, because an essential part of the dialogue was clicked away by accident. It would be great if the auto advance of dialogue would be disabled if the user preferred just the text. Now the dialogue advances at the speed of the spoken lines, which is a bit annoying. There should be 7 episodes in total, and I'm very optimistic to see how the story continues. Hopefully the small technical hiccups are fixed in the future updates, but overall I really enjoyed my time in the weird world of A Twisted Tale. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing for this channel. It would mean a lot. And I also have my own indie game in the works, a surreal adventure set in an infinite hotel. The game is called Hyperdrive Inn and it's already on Steam, so you can go ahead and wishlist the title right now. The launch is set on October 2024, but we already have a playable demo of the game, so you can visit our infinite hotel well beforehand. All the relevant links, as well as a link to the Steam page of A Twisted Tale can be found in the description. But that's all for today. I see you guys again next week, but until then, bye bye!